Shrimpton here from GAATech.com. Well, the UK drone show is quickly approaching and I've got lots of work to do to get prepared for it. Um, I've got some aluminium standoffs that I'm showing off at the show and I'm just making a display board to lay them out. So uh, here's a quick video just to show you what I'm doing. That is going to be the design and it's being cut from 10 millimeter perspex. So I'm just going to reset the camera and we'll crack on with the video. Okay, so let's get the machine fired up and we're going to start cutting some three mil holes. Then I'm going to screw the part to the table and then I'm going to carry on doing the pockets and then the outline cut. stopped because I changed the tool numbers so now it's waiting for me to do something with the machine then reset the Z height so this allows me to move the spindle to wherever I like so there we are I've moved it out of the way I'm just gonna pop a couple of screws into some of the three mil holes and this is allowing me just to, to make sure the part is not going to move. Okay, so I've put three screws along uh, the part. And now I'm just going to reset the Z. So let me just find where the spindle is. 
So I'm just gonna. Reset the Z back to zero. Uh, on Mac 3 now, I'm just telling it that I've reset the Z so it knows where the top of the material is. And now I'm going to say continue to run and it's now going to start pocketing the numbers. So I'm sure it's going to go up this end of the table somewhere. So I'll try and track it and let's see how we get on. I might have to use the vacuum cleaner during it. Okay, so it goes back to where it finished. And now it's going to track across the table back to the beginning of the pockets. And I think my code is doing a, a two mil pocket for the letters. So you can see this is perfect like lexan type material, so although the, uh, I've had to use quite a long bit because it's 10mm and that, this is uh, the longest one I have, the other ones are only 6mm cutting depth, so I'm using the same tool to do the whole job, so it's just plunging down doing the lettering. rotation of the spindle by about 3000 rpm and it looks like the chips are coming out a lot cleaner
three passes. Nice, happy with that, very good.